Now let's have the discussion on star delta connection. And here the assumption is primary side is HV and secondary side is LV, which means that on primary side the connection is star connection and which is having high voltage winding and delta is the second side winding connection and which is having LV winding. First let's consider the bank of three single phase transformers and now let's give the notations as this is the HV side. So HV side notations are in capital letters and let's consider these as dotted end terminals on both primary sides and secondary side. So on primary side the terminals are capital A2, capital A1, capital B2, capital B1, capital C2 and capital C1. Here A2, B2, C2 are considered as dotted terminals. So coming to secondary side, dotted end terminals are small a2, small b2, small c2 and non dot end terminals on secondary side are small a1, small b1 and small c1. As now we are considering the star delta connection means on primary side the windings are considered in star and on secondary side windings are considered in delta. So first let's obtain the star connection on primary side. So to obtain the star connection on primary side we must join the common end terminals and take the connections on other ends. Here the common ends could be dot ends or could be non dot ends. So here let's consider the non dot ends as the common end terminals. So here the non dot terminals are A1, B1 and C1. So join A1 to B1 and then to C1 and take the connections from dot ends. So this is A2, this is B2 and this is C2. So we obtain the star connection on primary side. Now let's obtain the delta connection on secondary side. So delta connection is obtained by joining the non dot end terminal of one coil with the dot end terminal of other coil or by connecting the dot end terminal of one coil with non dot end of other coil. That is we can obtain the delta connection by joining the finishing end of one coil with starting end of other coil or by joining the starting end of one coil with finishing end of other coil. So here let's join the finishing end of one coil with starting end of other coil that is the non dot end of one coil with dot end of other coil. So here we are joining the non dot end of one coil with dot end of other coil. Non dot end of this coil with dot end of this coil. So here non dot end of C coil with dot end of other coil. And let's take the connections from dot ends. So this is B2 and this is C2 on secondary side. Now let's arrange these windings in horizontal fashion. So let this be the HE winding and these be the dot ends. So here A2, B2 and C2. This is A1, B1 and C1. And now consider the LV winding and the terminals are and let these be the dot end terminals. So dot end terminals will be small a2, small b2 and small c2 because this is LV winding. So this end will be a1, small b1, small c1. Now make a note that on primary side we are having star connection means we need to obtain star connection and here star connection is obtained by joining the non dot end terminals and we took the connection from dot end terminals means join the non dot end terminals like this. So we obtain the star connection on primary side. Now let's obtain the delta connection on secondary side. So observe that here we got the delta connection by joining the non dot end terminal with dot end. So non dot end terminal with dot end. So non dot end terminal with dot end and non dot end terminal with dot end. And we are taking the connections from dot ends. So this is how the delta connection is obtained on secondary side. Now let's draw the phase diagram for primary side winding. 
So let's consider the primary side star connected VF as a like this. Now we need to decide the terminals of VF as a. So terminals of VF as a are A1 and A2, and connection strip from dot end that is A2. So arrow will point towards A2. So the other end will be A1. Now we need to draw the VB phase R, and we know that in three phase balanced ABC system, if VA is at an angle zero degrees, then VB will be at an angle minus 120 degrees, and VC will be at an angle 240 degrees from VA. So VB will be at an angle minus 120 degrees from VA. So as this is negative angle, means in clockwise direction at an angle minus 120, we will have VB. And the terminals of VB phase are will be B1 and B2. And the B2 is the connection we took from. So the arrow will point towards B2. So here this will be B1. And now at an angle minus 240 degrees, there will be VC phase. So in clockwise direction from VA at an angle minus 240 degrees, draw VC phase. And the terminals of VC phase will be C1 and C2. As C2 is the connection we took from, so arrow will point towards C2. So this end will be the C1. So here capital A1, capital B1, and C1 forms the common end terminal. And let's represent that with capital N. So we obtain the phase diagram for. Primary winding connections. Now let's obtain the phase diagram for secondary winding connections. So secondary side phases are drawn parallel to primary side phases. So let's draw the secondary side VF phases parallel to primary side VF phases. And now we need to decide the direction of secondary side VF phases. And observe that here on primary side the connection is took from dot end. And now observe the secondary side winding connection. Here also connection strip from dot end means the direction of secondary side phase R will be same to that of primary side phase R. So we are taking the same direction. And now we need to decide the terminals of secondary side VF phase R. So terminals of VF phase R are A1 and A2, and output is taken from dot end that is A2. So arrow will point towards A2. So this will be the A1. Now. Observe in winding connection that small a1 is connected to b2. So here to a1 there will be b2, and small a2 is connected to c1. So to a2 there will be c1. Now let's draw the second side VB phase. R. First let's draw the VB phase R somewhere parallel to the primary side VB phase, R. and now we need to decide the direction. So as here the connections are took. On dot ends on both primary side and secondary side means the direction of secondary side phase R will be same to that of primary side VB phase R. So we took the direction like this, and now we need to decide the terminals. So as B2 is the connection we took from, so arrow will point towards B2. So other end will be B1. So now coming to this phase R diagram, observe that A1 is having B2 end. So this phase R must be drawn. Like this, so this end will be B1, and now let's draw the secondary side VC phase R, so which will be parallel to primary side VC phase R. So primary side VC phase R is like this. So let's take the secondary side VC phase R like this. Now we need to decide the direction. So observe that on primary side and secondary side, the connections are took from dot ends. So the secondary side VC phase R direction will be same to that of primary side VC phase R. So this is the direction. Now we need to decide the terminals. As here on second side, the connection is took from dot end terminal that is C2. Means arrow will point towards C2. So the other end will be C1. Observe in second side phase that A2 is having C1 and B1 must have C2. So this VC phase is drawn like this. And now we need to decide the phase two neutral voltage in delta connection for comparison purpose. So here in secondary connection, the connection is took from A2 terminal. So A2 end is the phase two neutral voltage in secondary side delta connection for comparison purpose. So these are the phase diagrams for this star and delta connection. Now let's identify the vector group symbol. In vector group symbol, first character is capital letter and it will indicate the 
HE winding connection and here we took the primary side winding as HE winding and this is star connected. So in vector group symbol first character is taken as capital Y and now the second character in vector group symbol is in smaller case and that will indicate the LV winding connection and here we took the LV winding connection as delta connection and so the second character in vector group is represented with small d and the third position in vector group symbol is a numerical and that will indicate the LV side phase 2 neutral voltage displacement with HV side phase 2 neutral voltage and now observe the primary side facet diagram that here the phase 2 neutral voltage is A2 capital N which is taken as reference and which is represented with minutes needle in clock. So represent this A2 N phasor in clock with minutes needle and as this is taken as reference this minute needle will always be at the position of 12 in clock. And now come to the secondary side phase diagram in delta connection. We know that in delta connection there will be no neutral connection but for comparison purpose we need to consider the imaging neutral. So here we are taking the imaging neutral and now the phase 2 neutral voltage is small a to n and that is represented with hours needle in clock. So if you superimpose this on this the minutes needle will look like this and hours needle will look like this. So if you place 12 here then this position will be 1. So minutes needle is shown pointing towards 1 means here the numerical in vector group symbol will be 1 and that will indicate the phase displacement angle between LV voltage and HV voltage which is the angle between minutes needle and hours needle. So here the angle between minutes needle and hours needle is 30 degrees and as this hours needle is right side to 12 it is considered as minus 30 degrees. So one here from clock notation will indicate that LV side phase 2 neutral voltage lags behind the primary side phase 2 neutral voltage by an angle of 30 degrees. There are four possible connections of star delta connection that is we can obtain star delta connection in four ways. One of the ways this connection. Now let's see the other possible connection of star delta and in that let's leave the primary side connection as it is and the change you will observe in secondary side connection. So here in delta connection instead of joining the non dot end with dot end let's join the dot end with non dot end and take the connections from A to B to C to as usual. So let's join the dot end with non dot end and dot end with non dot end and dot end with non dot end like this and take the connections same as that of the previous case that is from dot ends A to B2 and C2. Now let's draw the phase diagram for these connections. So as the primary winding connections is same as that of the previous case. So the phase diagram is same. Now let's draw the secondary side connection phase diagram. And we know that secondary phasors are drawn parallel to primary side phasors. So let's draw the secondary side VA phasor parallel to primary side VA phasor and we need to decide the direction. So direction depends on the connections we took from. So on primary side we took the connections from dot ends and secondary side we are taking the connections from dot ends. So direction is same to that of primary phasor. And now we need to decide the terminals. So terminals of VA phasor will be A1 and A2 and here we took the connection from dot end that is A2. So arrow will point towards A2. So other end will be A1. And now observe that to A2 there will be B1 connection and to A1 there will be C2 connection. Now let's draw the second side VB phasor. So second side VB phasor will be parallel to primary side VC phasor. So let's draw the second side VB phasor somewhere like this parallel to primary side VB phasor. And now let's decide the direction and the direction depends on the connection we took from on both primary side and secondary side the connections are taken from dot ends. So direction is same. And now decide the terminals as on second side we took the connection from dot end that is B2. So arrow will point towards B2. So other end will be B1. So this is VB phasor. Now come to this 
So as a diagram, this is having B1 terminal. Therefore, VB phasor will be drawn like this. Okay. So this is VB phasor. Now let's draw the second side VC phasor. So second side VC phasor is drawn parallel to primary side VC phasor. So primary side VC phasor is like this. So let's draw the second side VC phasor like this parallel to primary side VC phasor and decide the direction. So here the connections are we took from dot and terminals. So direction is same as the top primary phasor and uh, we need to decide the terminals. On second side the external connection is from dot end that is C2. So arrow will point towards C2 and the other end will be C1. So now coming to the second side main diagram. So B2 is having C1 terminal. So place this phasor like this. So this is how to obtain the second side delta connected phasor diagram. And as this is delta connection on second side, we need to draw the phase 2 neutral voltage for comparison purpose. So let this be the imaginary neutral in delta connection. And now we need to decide of A2N or A1N is the phasor for comparison. And other than in VA, the connection is took from A2. So the phase 2 neutral voltage for comparison purpose is A2N. And now let's identify the vector group symbol for this star delta connection. And we know that in vector group symbol, first character will indicate the HE winding connection and which is in capital letters. So in vector group symbol, the first character is capital Y and the vector group symbol second character is in small case and that will indicate the LV side connection. So here we took delta as LV side connection. So it is represented with smaller case D. And now we need to decide the third position of vector group symbol. So here the third position is numerical and the numerical in third position will indicate the LV side phase 2 neutral voltage phase displacement with respect to HV side phase 2 neutral voltage. So now coming to this phasor diagram, observe that in primary side phasor diagram, this is the phase 2 neutral voltage and primary side phase two neutral voltage is taken as a reference and that is represented with minus needle in clock and uh, as this is taken as a reference minus needle is shown always pointing towards 12 and now coming to the second side phase diagram LV side phase two neutral voltage here is A2N and which is represented with hours needle in clock and if you superimpose this on this then the primary side voltage will look like this and second side phase 2 neutral voltage of delta connection will look like this. This means if you place this primary side phase 2 neutral voltage over here means then the LV side phase 2 neutral voltage will look like this and which will be pointing towards 11 means the angle between minutes needle and hours needle is now 30 degrees it is taken as plus 30 which will indicate that LV side phase 2 neutral voltage leads by an angle of 30 degrees with respect to HV side phase 2 neutral voltage. So this is one way of obtaining the star delta connection. So with this connection we got 30 degrees lead phase displacement and with this connection we got 30 degrees lag displacement. Now let's draw the other possible connection of star delta connection. Star delta connection has four possible connections. This is first connection and this is the second possible connection. And now we are going to see the third possible connection of star delta connection. In these two cases of winding connections, we took the output from daughter and terminals. And now in third and fourth possible connection, we are going to take the connections from non dot ends. Now let's see that. So let this be the LV winding and these be the dot and terminals and we know that LV winding notations are given in smaller case as these are the dot ends so this will be small a2, small b2, small c2 and the other ends will be a1, b1 and c1 and now here we are going to connect non dot end with dot end and non dot end with dot end and similarly here non dot end with dot end and here we are taking the connections from non dot ends. 
that is a1, b1 and c1. In previous two cases, we took the connection from dot x, that is from a2, b2 and c2. And here we are taking the connections from non dot x. So this is the third possible connection of star delta connection. And the phase diagram for this winding connection is same as that of the previous two cases because we didn't change any connection and the difference is only in the LV winding connections. So now let's draw the phase diagram for delta connected LV winding. And it is known that secondary side phasors are drawn parallel to primary side phasors. So first let's draw the secondary side VA phasor parallel to primary side VA phasor. So let this be the secondary side VA phasor drawn parallel to primary side VA phasor. Now we need to decide the direction of secondary side VA phasor. So direction depends on the the connections we took on primary side and secondary side. Okay, here on primary side we took the connection from dot ends and on secondary side we took the connection from non dot ends. Means here the secondary side phasor direction will be opposite to primary side phasor. As the primary side phasor direction is upwards, so the secondary side phasor will be downwards. So this is VA phasor. And now we need to decide the terminals for this VA phasor. As here on secondary side, we are taking the connections from non dot ends. Okay, means from A1, B1, and C1. So arrow will point towards the connection we took from. So here arrow will point towards a1. So obviously the other end will be A2. Now let's draw the secondary side VB phasor. So secondary side VB phasor is drawn parallel to primary side VB phasor. Let's draw it somewhere here. And now we need to decide the direction as the connections on primary side are took on dot end and on secondary side the connections are took on non dot end means the secondary side phasor will be in opposite direction to primary side phasor. So on primary side, the VB phasor is towards this direction, means the secondary side VB phasor direction will be like this. And now we need to decide the terminals for this. So here the connection is took from non dot end. So non dot end here is B1. So arrow will point towards the connection we took from. Therefore, arrow will point towards B1. So other end will be B2. So observe in winding connection that A1 is connected to B2 means here to A1 there will be B2. So now move this phasor like this so that it will have B2 here. Therefore this is VB phasor and this is the B1 end. Now let's draw the secondary side VC phasor. So let this be the secondary side VC phasor drawn parallel to primary side VC phasor. And now we need to decide the direction as on primary side constants took from dot end and on secondary side constants took from non dot end. So here the direction of secondary side phasor will be opposite to primary side phasor. So as the primary side VC phasor is towards this direction, so secondary side VC phasor direction will be like this. And now we need to decide the terminals. On secondary side the winding connections are took from non dot end means arrow will point towards the connection we took from that is C1. So other end will be C2 and observe in winding connection that A2 is having C1 connection means here to A2 there will be C1 also. So as we got the VC phasor like this, move this phasor such that it is having C1 like this. So this is VC phasor and now our task is to decide the phase 2 neutral voltage of delta connection and we know that there will be no neutral connection in delta connection but for comparison purpose, we need to take imaginary neutral. So let that imaginary neutral be N. And why we need phase 2 neutral voltage means in vector group symbol, the third numerical will indicate the LV voltage phase 2 neutral voltage displacement with respect to HV winding phase 2 neutral voltage. Okay. Therefore, we need here phase 2 neutral voltage. And now we need to decide which is the phase 2 neutral voltage. As here in winding connection, we took the connection from A1. Therefore, the phase 2 neutral voltage will be like this. Now, superimpose this secondary side phasor on primary side phasor and observe the phase 2 neutral voltages of primary side and secondary side. So, then the primary side phase 2 neutral voltage will look like this and the secondary side phase 2 neutral voltage 
will look like this. And now imagine that this diagram is placed in clock such that primary side phase to neutral voltage is pointing towards 12. If this is the clock, so these are the numericals on clock. So placing this diagram such that primary side phase to neutral voltage points towards 12 and this will indicate the 5 o'clock. Here the HV side phase to neutral voltage is represented by minutes nil in clock and the LV side phase to neutral voltage is represented by hours nil in the clock and the angular difference between minutes nil and hours nil will give the LV side phase to neutral voltage displacement with respect to primary side phase to neutral voltage. So now let's identify the vector group symbol for this type of connection. In vector group symbol the first character is represented in capital letter and that will indicate the HV winding connection. Here on primary side we took the HV winding connection as star. So let's represent that first character with capital Y and now the second character in vector group symbol represents the LV winding connection and it is represented in smaller case. Here LV winding connection is delta. So that is represented with small d. And now we need to decide the third position of vector group symbol which is a numerical. Okay, And that is given by clock notation. So for this connection we got 5 o'clock means the numerical here is 5. And 5 will indicate the LV side phase to neutral voltage displacement with respect to HV side phase to neutral voltage. And that phase angle displacement is given by the angle between minutes needle and hours needle. For 5 o'clock, the angle between minutes needle and hours needle is if you measure in clockwise direction, it will be 210 degrees. Or if you measure in anti clockwise direction, it will be minus 150 degrees. Therefore, for this type of connection, we are having a phase displacement of 210 degrees. And 210 degrees can be written as 180 degrees plus 30 degrees. 